Are you trying to create an Electron app that accesses a SharePoint list, but running into cores issues? You're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle this common problem and help you get your app up and running smoothly. I totally understand how frustrating it can be when you're trying to pull data from a list and you keep hitting roadblocks. Many developers face similar challenges when working with cross-origin resources. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user is trying to create an Electron app that pings a SharePoint list every minute to display tasks assigned to the current user. They are using the Fetch API, but are encountering cores errors. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this together. So what exactly is happening here? Cores, or cross-origin resource sharing, is a security feature that restricts web pages from making requests to a different domain than the one that served the web page. This is likely what's causing the issues you're facing. And stick around. I have a crucial tip at the end that could save you a lot of headaches when working with Electron and Cores. To address the Cores issue, the user should first ensure that the Electron app is configured correctly. This involves setting the web preferences in the browser window to allow cross-origin requests. Next, the user should modify the fetch request to handle Cores properly. Instead of using no course mode, they should use course mode to allow the request to be processed correctly. Additionally, the user should check the server-side configuration to ensure that it allows requests from the Electron app. This may involve setting appropriate course headers on the server. Finally, the user can test the application by running the Electron app and checking the console for any errors. This will help confirm if the course issue has been resolved. Fun fact, did you know that Course was introduced to help protect users from malicious websites? It's like having a bouncer at the door of your favorite club. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution suggests that accessing cross-origin resources in Electron may not be possible due to changes in version 9 and above. The web security option, which previously controlled Course, no longer has that capability. Let's take a look at another answer from another user. An alternative approach suggested by another user is to disable web security in your Electron app. They recommend setting the Web Preferences property to allow node integration and disable web security. This method is noted to be suitable only for development purposes. Here's the tip I promised. Always test your course settings in a safe environment before deploying your app. This can save you from unexpected issues later on. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to resolve your course issues and get your Electron app working with your SharePoint list. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.